Please be seated. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning. This is a case of Taylor versus Thompson. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Taylor, you are here to prove to your ex, Mr. Thompson, that he is not your 18-year-old daughter's father. You say he's accusing you of disappearing and hiding your daughter, Ms. Turner, for 14 years. But you claim you kept her away because you are certain he is not her father. Mr. Thompson, you claim you've always known Ms. Turner was your child and searched for Ms. Turner for 14 years. So, Ms. Taylor, why did you keep your daughter away from Mr. Thompson? First off, the lifestyle that Mr. Thompson was living at the time, I really didn't want that for my daughter. And my mother had my daughter uh, while I was going through something. And I spoke with my mother about him coming to see her. And my mother said no, she would let me handle it when I got back. When I came home, I didn't know where Mr. Thompson was. I spoke with a friend of mine, and I was told that Mr. Thompson had gotten married. And at that point, I didn't want to bring drama into his relationship. Mr. Thompson, did you know Ms. Taylor was pregnant? Yes. Were you involved in the pregnancy? Yes. You were? In what way? She was pregnant three months. We were still together. And then that's when, you know, she went her way and I went mine, but she just up and disappeared. So I moved to another state. Did you move to another state before or after you had the baby? After. I don't so, know. So, Mr. Thompson, you were away when she had the baby. You weren't around, but did you know she had the baby? Were you informed? No. No, I wasn't informed she had the baby. You didn't get the pictures of her when she was a baby that I sent to you? Yeah. When I came back to my grandma's house, my grandma had died. I went to turn down the old house and I found some of her belongings. And I saw some baby pictures there. And I looked, I said, this must be my baby. You see these pictures? Yes. But you, you think it's your child, but you right. don't know. Right. What information do you have about this baby? No information. Do you have the birth date? No birth date, no name. Do you know the gender? Do you Nothing. know if it's a girl or... I didn't or know if it was a girl or a boy. Are you asking people what happened? She only had one best friend in Louisiana. And when I say they best friend, they are best friend. I asked her everything I possibly could. She had told her, don't tell me nothing. You told your best friend, don't tell him anything? Nope. When I was talking to my friend, she told me, oh, the last I heard, he was doing good and he had gotten married and he was into church. And then at that point, I really didn't ask any more questions. Let me ask you this. He's there with you for the first three months before he goes away. You have the baby, You're, you move away. Why is it you don't think he's your daughter's biological father? The reason why I'm saying that is because during this time, before I met Mr. Thompson, I was having an affair with a married man. Ooh. And being that I was having an affair with a married man, honestly, I didn't know if it was a married man's child or Mr. Thompson's child. This other man, the man you were dating, you're saying that child was by him? I have strong feelings that the married man is my daughter's father. You did not tell me and you he, was with another man. You had he's all this stuff me going on. Right now. Who does your daughter believe is her father? She believes that Mr. Thompson is her father. Well, I, I, can, can I ask her something? Why you take my baby and run off and don't do nothing? I didn't I'm just, take you know off. where I was at I did all not take, no, I didn't. Look, you know where I was at all year because I put on the, I went on the, on the internet, made these pages. All you did was hop on there and call me right up. Doop. Hey, Terry. He wants to know why you didn't inform him. You believe the child was this married man's child, but you say your daughter believes that Mr. Thompson is her biological father. Does she believe that because you told her? Yes. So, now, if you told her he is her biological father, why not tell him where she is? When I did get con in contact with Mr. Thompson, which was in October of 2012 via Facebook, that's when he started to know where we were and where she was. Did you ever tell the married man... I told both of them. ...that he potentially could be the father? I told both of them. I told both of them. And what was his response? He didn't want nothing to do with it. 
Okay. Which is why you then just said to your daughter, Mr. Thompson is your biological father, because well, you knew that the married man didn't want anything to do with it. Correct. And so, Mr. Thompson, when you got this message on Facebook, what were you thinking? When she contacted me, I'm happy. All I want to do is talk to my daughter. And I didn't know my baby. I didn't know nothing. I didn't know how to look for my baby. So have you ever met or seen I your daughter? I never have saw a hair on her head. Only she sent me pictures. 18 years? 18 years. Well, she is here today. I won't make you wait any longer. <clears throat> Jerome, will you please escort my Linda Turner into the courtroom? Yes, Your Honor. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Hi, Ms. Turner. Thank you for joining us. You know why we're here. Yeah. And it's all about you. Your mom has testified. Yes. Mr. Thompson's testified. But we want to know from you, who did you grow up believing your biological father was? Well, in 2000, uh, 2012, um, my mom informed me that Mr. Thompson was my biological father. And so I kind of formed a relationship with him from then. Before on. 2012, who did you believe your father was? I didn't have one. I didn't ask about it because I didn't want to. In, have a in your entire life? Yeah. You never asked your mom, who's my father? Nope. Why didn't you feel you could ask your mom? I felt like it was going to be an argument and. Um, we would just fight about it, and I would never get the answer. I'm sorry. That's okay. So your mom came to you in 2012 and said, Mr. Thompson is your biological father. Yes. Then at what point did you find out that there was a possibility that Mr. Thompson was not your biological father? Just last week. Really? <laughs> and that's hard for you? Yeah. How did you find out? I was talking with my sister, and she had brought it up. And then when I was talking to my mom, she also had brought it up in a conversation on the phone. I mean, you waited until 2012 to just get one name. Yeah. <laughs> and then two weeks ago, or a week ago, they tell you that may not be... that. It's almost like getting ripped from you. What did you feel like in that moment? I was very hurt because... I formed a relationship with Mr. Thompson, and then to hear that there could be another guy, if he's not my father, then I've, I have this relationship with somebody that I don't really even know like that. Like, I, I shouldn't even know him. Ms. Taylor, this is obviously confusing for your daughter. Yes, it is. And unfortunately, you are the cause of that confusion. Yes, I am. You know that. Yes, I do. Why not in 2012 just be honest and say there were two possibilities? I was really trying to protect her. And I think me trying to protect her, what I'm getting from all of this is that I hurt her more than anything. Mm -hmm. that, that's what I'm seeing. And I want for my daughter to find whatever peace that she's trying to find. But why? Why wait all this time? I'm 18. <laughs> 18. And I have to... <laughs> I have to come to court to find out who my father is. When you say to me that until 2012, you felt you didn't have the right to ask who your father is, that hurts my heart to hear a young girl say that. What did it feel like growing up without a father? It, it really sucked because I had, like, I'm in choir. You know, I run track and stuff like that. And even my prom, like, to have not both my parents there, that was hurtful. You know? 
because I got to take pictures with her, but I didn't get to take a picture with my father, you know? And then, like, my sporting events and stuff. I would love to have both of them there, not just one, and sometimes it was none. So it was very hurtful. And then you see, like, in the audience that, like, everybody has their brothers and their sisters and their moms and dads all cheering for them. And I didn't have that. <laughs> I didn't have it. And it's really hard, because I always wanted that. You want the answers. I want to give them to you. I do. I should not have kept this, but... I was at the point where you never asked, you never mentioned it. Yeah, but why should you know, I have to ask who my father but is? But it would, yeah, why? Right, you don't. Why do I have to ask that? But if, if... Because as my mother, you should have told me right away. Yeah, maybe I should have, Nana, told you right away. But at the end of the day, me as a mother, it's my job, regardless of however I get beat down about this, I was protecting you. The way you protected me was so, not okay. in the right way. You, your mom's saying she was trying to protect you. Yeah. I you get, don't, don't feel know. that. I don't feel but it she... because, okay, if you're here to protect me, why wait so long? You know? You should have came forward in the beginning and said, hey. What know? has your mom told you about this other man? Only thing I knew is that she was sleeping with him and he was married. That's it. That's all I know. You don't have a name. Don't have a name. I have a nickname, but that's it. Like, how do you go off of that? How do you start searching for yourself? Yeah. You know, what would you like to say, Mr. Thompson? You said you was protecting my daughter. Well, this don't only affect her because she have two sisters and two brothers, and I have put them on the phone. And they believe that you are their sister because that's what I've told them. And for the longest, I always had it in my heart that you was my daughter. I never knew where you was at. I never knew your name, never knew what you even looked at like. But I never stopped thinking that you was my daughter. And you've brought some evidence to the yeah. court. I see it in your hand. I made a memory book for it, Mr. Thompson. <laughs> so you made a book. Yeah. For Mr. Thompson. Oh, and beautiful <laughs> pictures of you growing up. Wow, look at all of these pictures. You see them? So these are your graduation. When you look at these pictures, Mr. Thompson, what are you thinking? That's my baby. <laughs> you believe it when you see this? Yep, this is gonna be my baby. Jerome, will you please hand this book to Mr. Thompson? She wanted you to be able to see the moments that you have missed. Ms. Taylor, is there anything else you'd like to say to your daughter or to Mr. Thompson before I read the results? Honestly, I just apologize to both of you for going through all of this. And I feel like I should have did more early on. And I just didn't. And that's why we're here now. Jerome, I'm ready for the results. There you go. Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Taylor versus Thompson, when it comes to 18-year-old Mylinda Turner, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Thompson, you are not her father. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ms. Taylor, do you know where the man that you say would be the other possibility? Do you know where he is? Yes. You do? 
Do you know how to get in touch with him? I need to call my mother before I leave here today because I spoke with her last night. And as weird as this is, I haven't seen him in years either. But my mother did last weekend when she was in Louisiana and he gave her his phone number. So I'm gonna have to call her. Oh, <laughs> did you hear your mom? Yeah, they always say, what you don't know won't hurt you. And <laughs> But listen, listen, I've heard that saying, <laughs> but you have no idea what's out there for you. It could be beautiful and you're a strong girl and your mother is going to make the first step and she's going to reach out. If that gentleman is willing and if he's open to it, you will come back here so that you don't have to do this alone. That's why we're here. <laughs> Mr. Thompson, I know this is a difficult moment for you as well. I don't care if this guy don't want to have nothing to do with you. If you ever want to come visit, I will treat you like you are my daughter. Listen, baby, I just want you to know as we go forward, that I have counseling and I have resources outside of this courtroom. Thank you so I much. I wish you the very best of luck to all of you. Court is adjourned.